In this series, parallel combination, a resistor of unknown value x is connected in parallel to a 13 ohm resistor. This combination is then connected to another parallel combination with a 35 ohm and 50 ohm resistor. If the circuit is supplied for 110 volts, we need to calculate the following. Now I've gone ahead and drawn the diagram. In question 6.1, we need to determine the value of the unknown resistor if the current through the 50 ohm resistor is 1,5 amps. So let's just highlight that over here. We've been given the current of 1,5 amps through I4. And in order to solve R1 or Rx, if you want to call it that, we need to determine the value of I1. Secondly, we should also know what the volt drop is across this parallel branch. Let's call it V parallel number one. And we'll have to calculate the second volt drop over here. Let's call that V parallel two. Now, V parallel 1 plus V parallel 2 will give you the total voltage because it's a DC circuit. So, let's go ahead and calculate that. So, to calculate the voltage across the second parallel branch, um, I'm going to use the current through the fourth resistor, multiply by the value of the fourth resistor. So, the current that was given to us is 1,5 amps times the resistance of 50 ohms. So that will give us 75 volts. Okay, so 110 volts minus 75 volts. It implies that this volt drop over here across the first branch is 35 volts. And the volt drop across the second branch is 75 volts. Okay, now that we've got that, I would like to go ahead and determine the values of the current. We need to know the total current and we need to know what I3 is. Okay, so let's start with I3. So to calculate the current through the third resistor, it'll be the volt drop across that parallel branch. Let's call it VP2 over the value of the resistor of uh, 35 ohms. Okay, the voltage is 75 divided by 35, and that will give us I3. So I3 works out to 2,143 amps. Okay, now that we've got I3, uh, we can actually go ahead and calculate the total current because we've got I3 and I4. So just to make a note here, I total is equal to I3 plus I4. I3, we've just worked it out, it is 2,143 and the value of the current that's given to us over here is 1,5 amps and therefore the total current is 3,643 amps. Okay, that helps a lot. That's gonna help us with the first branch. Okay, now we can go ahead and calculate I2. And the reason why is we've got this volt drop here, V parallel one, and we've got the value of the resistor. So to calculate I2, it will be V parallel one over the value of the resistor, R2. So V parallel 1 is 35 volts and the value of the second resistor there is 13 ohms. So therefore I2 will be equal to 2,692 amps. Okay, I'm going to just clear this to make some space. So now we can go ahead and actually calculate I1 because we've got the total current um, and we can work out the value of the resistor. So I1 will be equal to I total minus the current through the second resistor, which is I2. Okay, so I total is 3,643 minus the current through the branch of the 13 ohm resistor, and that is 2,692. And therefore, the current through the first branch will be. Let me just grab my calculator here. 0.951. Okay, 0.951 amps. Right, now finally we can answer the question. Uh, to determine the value of R1, it will be the volt drop across the first branch divided by the current in the first branch, and that will give us uh, the first R1. So V parallel one, is 35 volts and we divide it by the current 
of 0.951 and therefore the value of that resistor will be 36,80 ohms. Okay, now that we've solved uh, number one, let's go to the second question. The second question says, calculate the energy dissipated by the unknown resistor in 36 seconds. So to calculate the heat dissipated, we use the formula for joules. The heat generated in the circuit is directly proportional to the square of the current, the resistance, and the time that current flows. So therefore, the current in the first branch and the value of the first resistor. So we have uh, 0.951 square. The value of the resistor that we calculated was uh, 36 803 and the time is 36 seconds and the units for the heat generated will be in joules so let me just use my calculator here that gives us 1198 comma 248 joules okay thanks very much for watching this video guys